This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot, PrinterBot.com. And I'm here at HQ just to show you a quick video of how to put these um, new wooden pieces together for the Z couplers. And this is the little expansion pack we're going to put, expansion, um, upgrade pack we're going to put in the store. I say upgrade and I say new because when we first started the PrinterBot, um, we used these printed Y couplers and they're really cool. Um, but we are going to do away with all printed parts. So in order to do that, we needed to go to laser cut. And we used to etch these, so if you have a version of these that is slightly different, um, that's okay, they both work. Uh, but we've been doing these on the router, and it, it creates a real nice, smooth... Uh, it is only one um, kind of level. The, the printed ones and the etched ones had two different levels for the two different sizes of cylinders, but we found this wood is soft enough, um, it really works well just with one pass with the router through it. So there's no top and bottom anymore um, and uh, they all are identical. So we're going to break open this pack just as it will come to you and I'll show you what's in here. So they should be just eight three-quarter screws, 632 screws, three-quarter inch long and eight hex nuts. So that's all you need. And these are, they've got a little tab where the laser cutter didn't go all the way through. That's on purpose, so it'll come in one pack, and we can just grab this and say, okay, they got everything they need for the Y couplers. So you can break these apart. They break pretty easily. Um, sometimes they might splinter if you break them apart. Um, so, so you can you could just give it a little score there on the top. doesn't matter as much on the inside. If you were to break it apart and it has a little splinter that's ugly, It'd be better to have that splinter on the inside than the outside. Um, so, but I like to kind of score both sides, and then when you snap them, they're real. They come apart real easy. Uh, you can file this down. You could sand it down if you had a piece of sandpaper. You could do that until it's nice and flat. I just like to clean it up with a knife myself. Uh, be careful with your knives. I've been using these every day so probably a bad example coming towards my thumb huh okay so anyway like I said uh, they can go together and the nice thing about this routed piece is it's totally symmetrical it could go together any old way you want as long as you got the the routed notch on the inside and I like to put these together again doesn't really matter you could put all four heads on one side if you wanted um, I like a little more variety so I put two through one way two through the other it, it totally doesn't matter and when I put this together I just barely thread I just barely thread that on so I've got these just barely threaded on there and what I like to do is kind of spread this out um, so it goes on real easy and again there's no top or bottom so I'm going to take off the old one Here, and I've already got these loosened, so those just come right off. And you'll notice that the vinyl tube has been pressed onto the 5mm shaft, and that brings it up to approximately the same size as the, the threaded rod. So if you have a, a capture nut at the top as well, like I do on this bot, um, most of my bots don't have that, you might have to, you know, kind of screw it up a little bit, <laughs> so to speak. I like to get the vinyl tube and the motor about halfway and then I thread that down. What I like to do is get it down where it touches and then back it off so there's a little space in between the motor shaft and the um, the all thread. And then I'll go go ahead and hand tighten this. I like to feel how tight everything is. I'm going to tighten the bottom first. Try to get it nice and even. By even, I mean uh, the gap on this side should be roughly the same gap as the other side. Now, you could really crank these down. That, that vinyl tube will compress, but you really don't want to go overboard on that. And then I'll get that snug, reverse it, and get that snug. And then I'll go ahead and tighten it down another quarter turn or half turn. And that, once I check all the tightness... That is the Z-coupler upgrade.
And I'll go ahead and do the other side, and then I'll be done upgrading to laser cut pieces on the Z-coupler.